Hi everyone! In this video, I'll show you how to create multiple dependent drop-down lists in Excel in just a few simple steps. Let's get started. To create a drop-down list in Excel, you first need to create a database. Start by listing fruits and vegetables as categories. To enable a dependent drop-down list, define a specific range for each category. First, list out the fruits, then do the same for vegetables. Next, you need to name these ranges. Select the range of fruits, then go to the top left corner where you can name the range. Make sure to name it exactly as it appears in the category list. You can also color code these cells to keep things organized. Repeat the same steps for vegetables. Now, when you select a range, Excel recognizes it as fruits or vegetables, matching the initial selection. Next, let's create a drop down menu. First, select the cells where you want the drop down. Then, go to the Data tab. Click on Data Validation and change the settings to allow values from a list. Set the sources as the list containing fruits and vegetables. Click OK. And now you'll have a dropdown where users can select either option. To create a dependent dropdown list, follow the same steps. Select the second column where the dependent list will appear. Go to Data Validation, choose List, but this time, instead of a static source, we'll use a formula. Enter equals indirect bracket cell reference bracket. Make sure to remove the dollar symbol to ensure the selection updates dynamically for each row. Click OK. And now, whenever you select fruits, the corresponding options appear in the next column. The same happens for vegetables. And that's it. You've successfully created multiple dependent dropdown lists in Excel. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.